Hey guys, I'm Sarika and welcome back to my channel, Your Knowledge Buddy. So today I'm back with another new video where I'll be talking about scholarship and today I'm covering UCL, University College London. Why? Because there are plenty of scholarships which you can still apply for 2022. So without any further delay, let's get started with the demo. So this is the official website of UCL and I'm under UCL scholarship and funding page under scholarship finder. I'll provide a link in the video description. And as you scroll down, you can see this filter for you. So you can select whether you are a prospective student, like a future student, or you are a current student. So for this demo, I'm going to select prospective students. And for academic year, you can select the current year, which is 2022 and 2023. You can select the level of study. So whether it's undergraduate, graduate, or graduate research. For this demo, I'm going to just not select anything so that I can see all the scholarships which is provided by UCL. Again, in terms of department, there's plenty of departments which you can choose from. So students who had been writing to me that they can't find their department, I'm sure you'll be happy to see such an exhaustive list from UCL. Again, for this demo, I'm going to keep it empty so that I can see all the scholarship provided. Another good filter is the country of domicile because scholarship differs from country to country. So few of the scholarship which is provided to say in Asia is different to Africa. So based on your country, just select the country. So I'm going to say India for now. And if at all you know the scholarship name, you can even type here. So I'm just going to say search based on the filter I've applied. And based on the filters, as you can see, there are so many scholarships which is already there on my screen. So there are plenty to choose and there are plenty of scholarship which is still open for 2022. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the bottom because I've seen some few interesting scholarship. Scholarship which is given based on merit and also scholarship which is based on financial need. So there are a lot of students who are writing to me saying they're not from a good financial background and even their grades are not good. So this scholarship, you can look at the need. For example, if you are not financially strong, you have a high chance. So even before giving up, make sure you apply for this scholarship. Okay. So from the bottom, as you can see, there's one scholarship, which is UPC progression, but this is based on academic merit and the value is 5,000 pound, which will be given off. So as you scroll up, you can see more. There's another UC Laws Academic Excellence. This is for 10,000 um, pound, which is again a big amount. But this, this is based on academic merit and the deadline is, oh, this is a past date. So make sure you don't apply. Okay, so again, if you scroll up, you can see the UCL Institute for Risk and uh, these disaster reduction. So again, this is a very good scholarship. You can see a full fee award for UK home students and 10 open 3000 awards. So this is based on the financial needs. So anyone who is not from a very strong financial background, you can apply. Deadline is 21st of February. So for any scholarship, you just need to click on this link. You will be taken to the details page and then uh, just follow the instruction of creating your profile with them and then submitting your SOP, which is your personal statement and the other documents like your CV, your degree and uh, your financial evidences. Yeah. Another one is UCL. Deadline was 4th of Feb, so you cannot apply. This was really good, by the way. Now, the next I can see is Turkish Embassy. They are providing a 10% of the tuition fee, which is again a good money for uh, people who are not from a good financial background. Uh, the next one I can see Saswaka Studentships and the deadline is 16th of March and they're giving £10,000 off. And this is based on both academic merit and financial needs. So it's a good chance for all the students. So I've just opened this in a new tab so that I can just show you a quick demo. So when you open any scholarship, you will be taken to a big page where you see all the details. So here you can see what is the value, what is the selection criteria, available to whom, and eligible fee status, programs, additional eligibility criteria, like two is to one equivalent at undergraduate. And deadline is 5 p.m. GMT Wednesday, 16th of March, 2022. And as you scroll down, there are other eligibility criteria. So the eligibility criteria differ from scholarship to scholarship. So you have to spend time reading the scholarship details. And if you're eligible, then only make sure you apply. And here as well, as you can see, the information is very simple. They have given the selection criteria, what is the benefit of doing and how you can apply. So they already have a simple form here. If you click, you just need to fill that form. And once you fill the form, the application will be submitted. 
to the university itself. So again, make sure you spend some time uh, um, thinking and writing about your um, SOP. So here you are given 350 words to write your why you need scholarship and what you will do with this scholarship and how will you create a difference out of it. Okay, now uh, let's go to the next page. So here um, the demo, um, I think one demo is enough, right? So another is Queen Square uh, International Scholarship. Again, deadline is 4th of April. You will be given £6,000 towards your tuition fee. This is based on academic. And the next is Overseas Research Scholarship. Again, this is based on academic and you will be given full tuition fee. So this is really good. Another one is Oman Embassy where you will be getting 10% getting of scholarship. So there are plenty of scholarship which you can go and check out. And if you see if there is still de deadline, uh, if you still have the dates, you can make sure you can apply. For example, MSc Data Science and Public. The deadline is 1st of July and you see full tuition fee. And again, this is based on academic and merit and financial needs. So this is really good. I've just opened this in a new tab. And uh, again, the information is very simple here. What are they providing? By when you can apply? And like I said, eligibility criteria is different for each scholarship. So make sure you read the details before you apply. And they also have a very simple form. You fill the form and it also you can email them for any questions or queries. So they have provided contact us and you can submit your form here. So I believe that is good for this demo. So make sure you go through all this scholarship in detail when you have time. Another one is Hong Kong. They're providing uh, 18,000 towards your tuition fee. This is again based on academic and financial need and the deadline is 27th of May, uh, which is again really good, I believe. And this is also good. 15,000 pounds will be given based on financial need. And this is a history of art departmental bursary. And uh, if I scroll up again, I can see there are plenty at the moment. So just make sure if the deadline has not passed and if you're eligible candidate, make sure you take time to read the details of each scholarship and then apply. That's all for this uh, demo, guys. And good luck to all the students who are planning to apply. And I will see you guys soon with my next video. Till then, keep learning.